All right, Jacksonville Jaguars defensive end Yannick Ngakwe is still not traded. He signed a franchise tag, just over $17 million is being reported. So let's talk about should the Lions trade for Yannick Ngakwe. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And he's been out there all offseason to be traded for. He said he don't want to play for the Jags. He's beefing with the owner. A lot of his players, a lot of the people gone. I think Calais Campbell might have left. I'm not sure. Um, just Jalen Ramsey gone. AJ Boye gone. And pretty much the Jags stripped that team just a few years after them making the AFC Championship game. And the only issue was Blake Burroughs couldn't play. And they paid him all that money and it didn't work. And they brought Nick Foles in. It didn't work. And they just a franchise who can't maintain that salary cap that they have because they have no fan base and Jacksonville does not care about them. It was some rumors that they might move that team to London, you know, and, you know, it's maybe time to relocate. I'm not sure who, who need a team. There's been talks that San Antonio, they was trying to get the Raiders to play down there a few years ago. Jerry Jones stopped that. So for the Jaguars, they may just need to look to relocate to another area um, because Jacksonville don't have no love for them. But, um, um, but the TV money so good that it, it probably don't even matter that they not getting no, no concession money or no, parking money or no uh ticket money so but yeah you know right now the lions are throwing out nick williams danny shelton deshaun hand and they're throwing out trey flowers on their defensive line right now core and austin bryant austin bryant is hurt again i don't see what y'all see him in regard and regardless but you know right now core won't be starting obviously that's kind of how the lions do they make their rookies earn their position we've seen it with almost virtually every rookie that ain't drafted uh they have to move up the uh the totem pole you know, during training camp and preseason, which is no preseason this year. But um, the Lions had the money, but then again, you got left tackle issues. You got to pay Taylor Decker. Also, you got Kenny Galladay, who's trying to get paid before the season. And then next year, the salary cap is supposed to regress and go down. So that's kind of issues right there. And also draft compensation. I mean, are the Lions close enough? Or, you know, is Ngakwe a big enough difference maker to put them over the hump this year? You know, I feel if they rush forward with Ngakwe, Trey Flowers, and Nick Williams and Deshaun, Deshaun Hand, maybe that defensive line is good enough. But then again, you could have some issues in the secondary and the second level of the defense. Also, the main issue is schematically, uh, Matt Patricia doesn't draw up a really, really good defensive schemes. He really bland. He doesn't disguise much. And are we, especially, we, are we expecting that zebra to change his stripes? I think not. So you trade for Ngakwe if you just you know need a push to get over the hump. And they haven't really made any pushes to get over the hump this year. As far as people they dra they drafted, they was conservative in the draft. Once again, in my opinion, they drafted a project position. I'm not saying that um, Okuda's a project player, but last year I told you guys Hawkinson was a project player. It's a project position. Take a few years for a tight end and cornerback to get fully acclimated to the league, and um, it's just they didn't go out there and really make a splash to make a difference, you know, defensively wise. I think the biggest difference is offensively is Stafford making stay healthy, and what DeAndre Swift can bring to the backfield and you know, they're trying to revamp that offensive line. They made some differences offensively that was already pretty much efficient. Before that, defense is the issue. Special teams is the issue. Biggest difference maker on special teams bringing in that special teams coordinator from Cincinnati. I mean, from uh, Cincinnati. So I'm not sure Ngakwe is going to just be enough to get that defense over the hump. I just think the whole scheme is garbage. All right, you got a lot of question marks in the in the defense. All right, can he stay healthy, right? He don't stay healthy, the whole thing go down. All right, can you get better play out the linebackers? Yeah, I don't know. I haven't heard much about Tavali in practice, but I certainly heard, you know, Jared Davis sucking again. We know Jamie Collins going to bring it, you know, in the back end. You're looking at Harmon and Will Harris, where they bring it, be, be able to bring it with Walker, be able to turn into a pro bowl, almost all pro type safety. Okuda's going to struggle year one. That's just the way it is, like Tupac said. And then Trufon ain't that good. And really, can Justin Coleman do better this year? And it's it ain't that he ain't got talent. It's just that the defensive scheme leave him hanging out to draw these guys to uh, guard these dudes one on one. So I'm not sure I would take a chance on Ngakwe. And in the, in the Bob Bob Quinn and Matt Patricia hasn't been moving like they jobs on the line. there has been a lot of guys that could have went out there and got. They could try to get DeAndre Hopkins that got traded. David, well, I will trade for older running back or running back that kind of been through there. But there's been some guys they could have got went out there and tried to get free agent wise. They should have tried to convince Larry Warford. I mean, they could have tried Cam Newton. They could, they could have tried a lot of different guys that was out there. Marcus Golden, Everson Griffin, he gone and he playing for the um, 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 Dallas Cowboys. I mean, they just don't never really go out there and try to get guys. And maybe they try to get guys and guys say, you know what, I'm not interested in coming there because of the situation with the ownership or the situation with who running the, cl uh, the club and Bob Quinn and Matt Patricia. But it just don't seem like we go out there and get these guys until they're older, past their prime. And, um, 
you know, right now, I just don't really see Ngakwe being the ultimate difference maker to get this team over the hump unless you tell me schematically Corey Uteman is going to bring some of his aggression from Philly. If he ain't able to implement some of his defense from Philly and Patricia going to run the same defense he run last year, then I say, no, if you're going to switch it up, you're going to blitz more, be more aggressive, disguise more, then I say, yeah, it's worth it. You got Matthew Stafford probably for one more year, what it sound like. And um, with him selling his house and Orlowski leaking that stuff out, no more guaranteed money for him. So, yeah, if you go out there and you say they're going to be more aggressive, they're going to take more chances and disguise the defense, you already got the special teams coordinator, new coordinator there. That should be an upgrade there. Then, um, yeah, I'll trade for Ngakwe. If we're going to blitz more, bring more pressure, disguise, stunt, all those type of things, then, I, yeah, I'm like, okay, now we're going to make that push. You know, but if you're not going to do that or Stafford not going to stay healthy, then it's going to be a waste of money. Right now, you can't extend them. You know what I'm saying? You can franchise tag them again, but after that, you only can put the transitional tag on him if, if my memory serves me correctly. So, you know, if they're willing to switch some things up offensively, then I'm for it. I mean, defensively, I'm for it. Um, if not, if they're going to come out with the same approach, which is playing man-to-man -man and rushing three or four and not stunning and not sending no pressures and not disguising and playing no zone, then no. You know, you're probably going to be headed for another top five, top six pick next year. So, um, I like his game. I think he fit well in the system. If they can play in 4-3, I think he can probably give you a little help out of the 3-4. But, you know, I think they look at it as Okor is going to be the future. We're going to develop him. He's going to be able to put his hand in his dirt. Until then, Nick Williams can, you know, hold that down. And if we have issues there, then we can put Okor in. If we have issues there, then Jamie Collins can do it. So, Matt Patricia ain't big on, you know, star pass rushers. All right? He big on former Patriots. But star pass rushers, the Patriots never been big on. They got rid of most of the ones they had. Richard Seymour, Chandler Jones, they don't want to pay those guys. They feel that the system is better than the star pass rusher in New England. That's been true, but it's only holding true because Bill Belichick is a mad scientist and Brady consistently or usually consistently moves the ball up the field. So that's the difference. So, I mean, it is what it is. I think it's a chance that probably need to be took when the Yaka and Guagway if they're trying to get over the hump. But I, I just don't think, you know, Patricia is going to change anything up and it's not going to matter. So, Hey, it is what it is. And plus, he got $17 million. You got two other dudes you're trying to extend, which I want to extend Taylor Decker. I definitely extend Kenny Galladay. But, uh, you know, that is what it is from that perspective. Let me know what you guys think. Do, they, think you, do you think the Lions should trade for Yann Yannick Ngakwe? I'm hearing the second-round pick is a price tag, which ain't bad. But then again, he got to get a new contract. You can't re-up until after the season because he's on the franchise tag. And that period is gone when you can extend a guy from the franchise tag. Hey, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Don't forget to check out our Detroit Lions Talk playlist for more videos like this. We also got a Piston playlist. Don't forget to check out the channel out, Goodfellas Sports TV, right here on YouTube. Want to make a donation? CJ Good 313 is the Cash App. PayPal link in the description as well. Best way to donate personally is to share the video and check out my other channel, Goodfellas Sports TV. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Let me know what you guys think. We go.